What is a solenoid? In this A to your Q, you will find out. Stay tuned and check it out. Welcome to A to your Q, and for this A to your Q episode, the question comes from Ivy Zhu, which says, what exactly is a solenoid? How does it work? Do I need to use a timer or program it? Does it really work? Thank you. Well, thank you for your question, and we're gonna answer it here, right here and now. Now, before we go on, if you're new here and you wanna discuss aquariums or learn about aquariums, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so you know when I make new videos as well as do live streams. So here we go, what is a solenoid? In general, a solenoid is a contraption that once you supply power to it, it creates a magnetic force that kind of moves armatures and stuff in that contraption itself. It could close something, it could push something or whatever. It's kind of, you know, a really cool mechanical contraption. Now, solenoids are used in many applications from locking mechanics to even medical supplies and stuff like that. In our hobby, solenoids are used to control gas flows and particularly CO2 flow from our source of the CO2 into our tanks itself. Now normally there's two states of a solenoid, on or off. When we plug it in, it provides power to the solenoid, which triggers the magnetic contraption in the contraption itself and opens the passageway to allow CO2 through. Now when we pull that plug and the power stops going to the solenoid, it shuts off that passageway and of course blocking CO2 from passing through. Now that's really the basics of it. It's really, really simple. Now there might be products out there that has a built-in timer in the solenoid. I haven't ever come across one myself and I don't know if there's one out there in the market, but for us and for our purposes, we usually plug in the solenoid into a timer and just set the timer to have it turn on or off whenever we need it to. Solenoids can also be used to control flow of the air pump, but that's kind of just useless. You could just plug the air pump into a timer and just have it controlled on and off that way. So it's just a waste of money at this point. Now it's important that we use solenoids for CO2 because we only want CO2 to get pumped in our tank when the lights are on. That's when the plants are actually growing and producing photosynthesis. And we want it to turn off when the lights are off because at that point, the plants stop producing photosynthesis and goes to a reverse period. And in that point, we don't want to oversaturate our tank with CO2 and kill our livestock. Now what we see here is a standalone solenoid. The air hose from the regular enters here, the hose to the bubble counter or tank leads through here. It's really, really quite simple. Now before anyone asks, I would suggest placing a bubble counter after it goes through the solenoid for more accurate bubble counts, but that's just mainly my preference. There are people that do put their bubble counter before this, it goes through the solenoid, and well, I don't know why they do that, but for me, I just like to do it the other way. Now I mainly use this contraption for do-it-yourself CO2 setups. Basically, I just set it up, put it on the timer, have it turn on when in the mornings when I need to, and have it turn off in the night. So I don't have to manually do it because that just requires a lot of manual upkeep and maintenance on the tank just to put CO2 into it. This is also good for when you buy a CO2 regulator that does not have a solenoid built in. Now we're looking at a regulator that has a built-in solenoid. This is much more convenient. With this, you would simply screw in the regular to your tank, plug the solenoid into a timer, the hose or bubble cutter goes out from here and then to your tank, and all you have to do is adjust your needle valve to adjust your bubble counter, and there you go. And that, in a nutshell, is what a solenoid is. Thank you to Ivy for submitting in that question. Now, if you have any questions or any additional thoughts about what a solenoid is or what it does, go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below. Remember, hit that like button if this helped you out in any way or share it where you can where it could help someone else. Remember, I love you guys. Stay wet with your tanks. See you in the next video.